Tēnā koutou, ko Mark Nichols toko ingoa, no Aotearoa ahau, ko Aotei kaiwhakahari mātua o whakawakari akoranga ki te kuratini tūwhera o Aotearoa. Tēnā koutou, tēnā koutou, tēnā koutou katoa. Formal greetings to you all from New Zealand. My name is Mark Nichols. I'm the Executive Director of Learning, Design and Development with the Open Polytechnic, New Zealand's largest dedicated provider of online and distance education. And I'm also an ICDE Executive Committee member. I'd like to talk briefly about a leadership challenge related to organisational responses to COVID-19. I believe that universities and other higher education providers responded as effectively as they could have during the COVID crisis. In many countries, restrictions related to public gathering are still in place with no definite end in sight. All educators have worked very hard to make sure that students could still study under these uncertain conditions. There's been some speculation as to whether we are now in a new normal of education, where online or distance teaching is now accepted as a mainstream way of educating. Some suggest that formal education has now turned a corner and that people are now much more open to virtual and online tuition. But I'd like to frame the situation somewhat differently. I don't think we're likely to see universities suddenly transform themselves toward online distance education. Instead, I suspect we're more likely to see mitigation activity take place in the background, while universities assume the same on-campus lecture-based model will continue. So transformation or mitigation? Well, in favour of mitigation is that it doesn't require any long-term change or adjustment to an operating model or how a university typically works. Mitigation plans are short-term solutions to likely problems. They're just-in-case plans put into action only when needed and only until things return to normal. Lectures, teaching roles, timetables, semesters, all other structures are just temporarily displaced. Transformation, on the other hand, involves changing the university operating model to better suit what open, flexible and distance education are truly capable of. Any time enrolment, really flexible study options, scalable and personalised application of digital education, these sorts of things are only really possible through an operating model transplant. So my concern and challenge to you all has to do with how we frame our ODFL responses to events such as COVID-19 campus closures. Do we promote mitigation strategies, knowing that in the long term, we're merely adding digital tools to our normal ways of working? Or do we promote transformation, whereby we question all elements of how we educate toward a truly learning-centric model that provides flexible options to distance learners. It's important we don't mistake the ERT, the Emergency Remote Teaching, for ODFL. There's so much more we might achieve. So is our vision for mitigation or transformation? What will we be promoting in the name of ODFL? Thank you.